Hello, world. Good morning, wherever you are, or good afternoon, or good evening. Here we are again. This is, wow, what a show. We are the live outreach podcast for Rehoboth Institute of the Arts. And we are in a series titled Apples of Gold. We're reading through Proverbs. And we're a little early, so our reader for today has not yet um, arrived or connected, but we are still uh, able to declare the glory and the goodness of God as each new day is a declaration of his glory. We don't have to search it out. It's right here in our midst, in our presence. We know that the Lord is about And so we give him glory, we give him thanks, and we give him praise for his goodness. I'm so glad that you are going to fellowship with us and that you will be a part of our our, um, reading through the Proverbs. Good morning, Tony. I'm a little early, and so we are waiting for our reader for this morning. Uh, We should be coming in. I had a, Tony, I hope you got some really good sleep. Of course, yeah, no, you still didn't get as much as as I would want you to because you are in school. One must rest. (laughs) You have to rest. Good morning. Good morning. Here is our dear uh, sister, Amy Cannett. She's our reader this morning and it's bright and early and she's giving up her time and I'm so, so grateful for it. I don't know what happened to me. I got a little trigger happy, as they say. I started just a bit early uh, because I wanted everything to work. And so I, you know, I've been going in. And what I realized is that when I come on too soon, when someone plays back the audio on this, then they are hearing a lot of silence in the beginning. So since I was in, I just, I just had to go on and, and start to uh, engage the audience. But good morning. Uh, Minister Amy. Good morning. How are you? I am fine. And let's adjust a little bit your, wait a minute, it may be my volume. Your voice is a little distant. uh, So hopefully uh, that adjustment can be made, you know, and you'll get a little louder, right? Yes, yes, I will try. Oh, yes. I turned up my volume too. So maybe maybe that was the issue. But that was, I hear you very clearly now. So, Minister Amy Cannett is our reader for today. She is a marvelous, wonderful uh, uh, friend. Uh, she's in my church, right? And she's preparing for ministry. <clears throat> but she gives so freely of, of her time and her uh, astuteness in prayer and the word of God. So I'm so pleased, uh, Minister Amy, that you are here. I also want to say one more time that this is a series titled Apples of Gold. We are reading through the book of Proverbs, which everyone knows probably right off the bat that this is wisdom literature and that we are going to read a lot of statements that will help and guide us in being wise in our lives. So Minister, Minister Amy, you want to uh, take over? You can start with prayer and we can move right along. Okay, amen. Amen, thank you very much. Um, dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your word. In the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with God. So it was in the beginning and for all eternity, not one word shall ever be changed. And it is all for life and for, for, for love and for salvation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your awesome and mighty word. Um, and so, Lord, we just ask, oh God, with this precious gift that you have given us, this this apple of gold for the for in in this one scripture, each 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 scripture is an apple of gold. And so we thank you for it, oh Lord, and we ask for Holy Spirit guidance in reading and in speaking and sharing it, oh Lord, and that every ear, every ear, be blessed 
that happens upon it to come upon the line and hear your holy word. We love you on today. We give you all glory and bless our host. Bless our host, uh, Sister Phyllis Ledbetter, a, chi a daughter after your very own heart. God bless her and keep her. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Right. Well, I shall begin um, to speak and hopefully not to get so tripped up over my tongue for the words are marvelous and lovely. So please, uh, Lord, let me speak them clearly. Um, Proverbs, I will be reading from um, Proverbs 6. Um, and the in, in its entirety, and I'm reading from the James, a King James version in my Bible. Okay. My son, if thou be surety for thy friend, if thou hast stricken thy hand with a stranger, thou art snared with words of thy mouth, thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. Do this now, my son, and deliver thyself. When thou art come into the hand of thy friend, go, humble thyself, and make sure thy friend. Keep not sleep to thine eyes, nor slumber to thine eyelids. Deliver thyself as a roe from the hand of the hunter, and as a bird from the hand of the fowler. Go to the ant, thou sluggard. Consider her ways, and be wise, which having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provideth her meat in the summer, and gathereth her food in the harvest. How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall, thou, so shall thy poverty come as one that travaileth, and thy want as an armed man. A, no, a naughty oh, warning against sowing discord. That is the, uh, the, the um, statement or the title of this next portion. A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a froward mouth. He winketh with his eyes. He speaketh with his feet. He teacheth his fingers. Frowardness in his heart. He deviseth mischief continually. He soweth discord. Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. These six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that devises a heart and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. Warning, the next is a, another um, subtitle. Warning against adultery. My son, keep thy father's commandment, and forsake not the law of thy mother. Bind them continually upon thine heart, and tie them about thy neck. When thou goest, it shall lead thee. When thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. And when thou wakest, it shall talk with thee. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is a light, and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. To keep thee from the evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman. Lust not after her beauty in thine heart, neither let her take thee with her eyelids. For by means of a whorish woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread, and the adulteress will hunt for the, for the precious life. Can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes not be burned? Can one go upon coals and his feet not be burned? So he that goeth in to his neighbor's wife, whosoever toucheth her shall not be innocent. Men do not despise a thief, if he steal to satisfy his soul when he is hungry. But if he be found, but if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. 
he shall give all the substance of his house. But whoso committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. A wound and dishonor shall he get, and his reproach shall not be wiped away. For jealousy is the rage of a man. Therefore, he will not spare in the day of vengeance. He will not regard any ransom, neither will he rest content, though thou givest him many gifts. There in the reading of Proverbs number, uh, number six. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Yes. Yes. Wow. So, packed full, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Very full mm. and very precise. Mm. Very precise. Already it does yet. not. It does not mince words. I, I, I have. To, I, I had two things. Um, I, I, there are many that hit me, but two that I did not hear the same when I was reading before um, to prepare for, for this time. And um, the one that, the, 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 there was one about sleep, one space there about sleep, and the other was about, um, the other caught me, let me get, uh, it, it caught me as I re was reading this last time. Mm -hmm. uh, but let me go to the one about sleep and then perhaps it will, uh, I, I will remember uh, where the other uh, verse was. Um, okay, okay uh, 22, I believe it was verse 22, uh, where he says, when thou goest, he was, he was, he was talking about this and adultery, but then he started to talk about sleeping um, in reference to it. And in verse 22, he said, when thou goest, it shall lead thee when thou sleepest. No, no, that's not it. It was the commandment. That's what it just had. I heard the mm. word sleep and it got, here it is. That's what it was. It, 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 saw, it was under the heading of the warning of adultery. But he first says to him, mm. my son, keep thy father's commandment and forsake not the law of thy mother. And I went to 22. It does tell us about binding it. It says if, and well, it doesn't say if, but in my, in my ear, I hear if. You bind them continually upon thine heart and tie them about thy neck. And so, okay, I, the heart for me, whenever the Lord is, whenever I hear the Lord's word and he's speaking about the heart and he says continually upon thy heart, to me that is um, spiritually bringing your mind and heart together to follow that word that God has said like it's the spirit the heart to me is spirit and the mind is choosing so I the mind I still see it as um even though when our mind is moving we don't know from what part it's moving I know they they teach us about where reason is and where this is but I mean we're not aware I am not aware I don't have that mm -hmm understanding or knowledge i don't have that knowledge about the brain as one who has studied mm. and 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 even um some are are medical doctors who are who are very uh learned and and trained in 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 caring for the brain but what what i wanted to say is when i hear heart i think spirit and i think of 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 um um that coming together with a choice in our mind, part of our flesh being that that flesh part of our mind that is affected mm -hmm. and that 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 works that presses um, by mm -hmm. by the desire to walk in the Lord. Okay, all right. So binding yes. it in our mind and and it in a, to a place where it affects the sp our heart, where our spirit is moving upon our mind and affecting our heart. And when we tie it there, and we and we and we hold to it. Um, when we go and goest, this means as we live, as we walk, mm -hmm. it shall lead us. 
And when, and when we sleep, that's what caught my attention. When we sleep, it shall keep us. Even when we're resting, even when we are, even when we are not aware of it, when we, we, of what God is doing, how God is responding to it, it is happening in us. And when thou wakest, so it's as we start our day, when we wake up, it, it, it is on us continually. That's what I feel, mm-hmm. continually, whether or not we are um, focused in on it, directly but simply that we have made that our dwelling place okay and that so that that just um i don't know that that really stuck with me um when when it how it shall how it oh and this was the best part when we awake us it shall talk with thee and so that 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 did it i mean if we are in the word and we are applying it and made up our mind that we really, we're, we're going to give this thing a chance. Sometimes, sometimes it's just a matter of saying, you know, I've tried everything else. And I want to give this, I want to, I'm going to go on this word that my mother talked about it, a friend of mine, a coworker, somebody mentioned it and something about it said, you know, I've tried everything else. Let me just start reading it. And as you read it and you, you, and you, you reach out, your heart reached out, reaches out to something you like the sound of. You liked it. Mm. My God, yes. you know, you just found that it, 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 it touched something, right? And so you decide to bind, even if it's just that one part. He didn't, I, I, just, I, I'm going to slow down, but just if it, even if it touched that one Slow-up. place, when you, um, when that, when you decide that, you will experience you shall certainly experience it, um, it, it, it uh, doing just as the word says. When you, it'll lead you, it'll, that one word can have so much in it. It will lead you, it will stay upon you when you sleep, it shall be there when you awake, and it shall talk with you. And as it yeah. talks to you, it will feed you and it will bless you there is it is an absolute guarantee so anyway that 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 um, beautiful. that caught, caught yeah. hold amen. amen you know i think that it's it's very much a <clears throat> a movement uh, or leading of the holy spirit that you start there that we start there with these verses as amen. and talk about chapter six right yeah. Uh, or to talk really and truly, it has been repeated throughout all the chapters in different ways, but these same pretty much the same thing is making the same point. Take heed to these warnings, to this direction for your life. Take heed because there is a great benefit in it. Thank you, Sister Amy. That was a beautiful way to begin. And I will now allow you to lead us further <clears throat> if you have other highlights that you want to make. Man, I, um, I, 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 um, there, there, I know that there, there was, there was uh, one more, um, but I want to, um, I really, I will hold, I will hold it <laughs> because I, I okay. want to stay in that, in that place where you were saying it's a great place to begin. And I'd like to, uh, I'd love to hear of, of um, where we, how we shall go forward in it. And connect it. With connecting it. Yes. Amen. Excellent. So if now the, the, he's already said to us, we've already heard again to keep the father's commandment and do not forsake the law of thy mother. That's absolutely a repeat of an earlier verse in another chapter. I can't uh, say right now which one it was, but it's it's directly the same <laughs> statement. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, we go back to um, the beginning of this chapter and he starts, of course, with a warning again. Uh, and this time it's against idleness and falsehood, lying. It's that mm. that lifestyle that uh, produces shame. So he starts by saying, if you be a surety. Now, right here, this is something that I 
heard in my ear, like you said, it sounded right. And I said, I better go back and check Ooh. that one out, right? <laughs> if you yes. if you be a guarantee, and let me tell you, this means to um, stand for someone else's purchase. You are a guarantor for someone else's purchase. You mm-hmm. give your money, you give your name for, for something that you are really not owning, but you are undergirding and helping someone else uh, purchase. And yes. to, uh, Minister Amy, listen, I did this. I would do, if someone called and told me, you know, they needed this, that, or the other, I was mm-hmm. the person who would just freely give mm-hmm. uh, and, and my name. And I did it to my detriment. You see what I mean? Because yes. inevitably, inevitably, you're left holding the bag. And mm. if you do not have a sufficient funds to pay it off, then you bear the burden of a soured name. You see? Mm. So yeah. this is, yeah, to no be a surety. It even, I think, uh, we can stretch it a bit to include being a reference for someone. Mm-hmm. If you stand, give your word that this person is trustworthy and they are not, mm-hmm. now we are dealing in falsehood. Mm-hmm. And the Lord, this is a warning against that. Don't do that. He's pretty much saying, uh, if you are surety for thy friend, if you have st- uh, stricken thy hand with a stranger, you are snared with the words of your own mouth and are taken with the words of your own mouth. Mm. That's it. Yeah. You stand there and I have I have been guilty mm. more than once. But at yeah. least in the last the last time it happened there was a, a a a breach of a sort. But the person that I stood for was sensitive enough and cared for me enough to do whatever they could to see to it that that was not against me. However, I did have to deal with it down the road. So there's a warning there, right? We we have to be, we have to heed it, truly. So this is, now we're coming, now we're coming sort of away from this strange woman and and the adulterous actions of lust in our lives uh, Mm -hmm. that we, met with in the early chapters and uh, we're coming into now the practicality that everyday uh, interaction that we have with people and he's warning us about some of this (laughs) so he says that yeah uh, you can jump right in whenever you like sister Anne. no no we go right in the direction uh, no, I like I like what you I like what you're saying, and I I I the only the the only thing that I did think about was that we're we're also um, in that place of the tongue of the, of speaking too quickly or or, or being very mm-hmm. I I believe that's one of the things that um, plagues society even um, and, mm-hmm. or my own life is how quickly mm-hmm. I speak without thinking. And, mm-hmm. and how powerful whatever you say in your mouth when it comes out, how powerful it is. And so, um, mm-hmm. you know, that, that all, you know, it, it, the, he's, he's given us, a, you have already shared a testimony of how important it is to, to, to not, you know, speak rashly or, or you know, with, without care, you know, um, to speak yes. too soon for something even if in our heart we have we're in our heart is in the right place or our intention is good even with that we must we must measure our words i'm glad you said that too because our hearts and our intentions are already off balance we are born off balance we are born (laughs) with Mm -hmm. a nature to not do god's will his way Mm -hmm. you see and therefore, this is a great warning. And for all of us listening, if you've never considered it before, consider it now. And he's uh, the the author here is telling us, uh, don't do this. 
And then he says, deliver yourself. When you are coming to the hand of your friend, go humble yourself and make sure your friend don't go to sleep um, or, or slumber. Deliver yourself as a roe, that's a deer, from the hand of the hunter. So you see that the roe, the little deer, is hunted. And when the hunter sees him, comes upon him, he is going to what? Kill him. He's not just going to say, uh, walk with me, little deer. I'm going to put you, you know, I'm going to keep you as my pet. He's going to kill him. And so he's telling you, get away from that quickly. Deliver yourself from that. And um, yeah, make sure that you are free. Don't be ensnared by your own words, etc. So I, I really love this. And, and let me tell you, the image this I went to a conference center in North Carolina way back then when God was just, he was, he was revealing so much to me. It was amazing. And that group of people were so in love, it seemed, with the Lord. And one morning in a conference, uh, you know, session, she said <clears throat> of Psalm 42, as the deer pants for the water brook, so panteth my soul after thee, O Lord. And then she explained it. Being a young person, she said she grew up on a farm and out, you know, in a in the um, rural area of, I think they were from Jamaica. And so she knew this imagery, right? And she oh, says wow. the roe, the deer, when, a, when he's being hunted, he, he gallops, he runs, he runs, and he jumps into a stream and he can submerge himself oh, in that spring. Oh, and the only my. thing that is visible is the tip of his nose because you see, he's oh, not a, a water creature. He's a land yes. creature, but God, like Tony gave us this example yes. last night that was so right on about the bird being able to sit on that wire and not oh, be electrocuted. My. That oh. row submerges and there he is God has just given him the capacity oh, to just lie and let his just, just the tip of his nose so the hunter then is not able to take away his life you see this is what this is that imagery he's saying oh. be like the roe also the, the sure-footedness of that deer can climb a mountain and go up the cracks and crevices that we could not even begin to hold on to. Mm. But God has prepared his feet so that he can make it up. And it's written, I think, oh, it's in the last book, uh, make my feet like hinds feet yes. to scale my high mountain. Glory to God. This imagery is beautiful. Who, honey, God knows and he sees and he inspired this word. He inspired the word and yeah. he gives us these um, these uh, similarities. He, he's making a similarity here. Um, and we are, are, if we see it, if we know it, it, it improves our walk by making us more strategic, making us yeah. able to. Yeah, isn't it? Isn't it? It's wonderful. We have a comment, Sister Amy, from Tony. God, through his wisdom and his all knowing spirit, when he was creating the bird, there was no electric, no electric fences or wires all over or around the world. But he knew a time would come when the knowledge and wisdom he has given to men, man Glory. will invent something Glory. like the electricity and the bird and the My gun, God. by the way, you see, and that these, My he says, God. those little birds who have no sense will stand oh, on yeah. the naked wires. So he insulated the feet of the birds so My that Lord. when they stand on this, way god you're wonderful how powerful oh, those how wires would not electrocute him glory glory oh, to, god. to god hallelujah That's hallelujah beautiful. that is so that is beautiful, so beautiful. Is so... Mm. these 
these little, <laughs> these settings, these, you know, these references, these um, uh, metaphors and similes that God has given us, these your personifications, Anna brought that out in him, personifying wisdom. And the way she did it just blew me away. The, the personification of wisdom gives wisdom life. And then we are able to to in, in receive the the information that is being fed to us by wisdom oh, and it is alive it's a constancy hallelujah. and that's what you brought out in this uh, reference this morning glory. it shall talk with thee glory. wisdom will talk with you glory. all day ah. every day when we ingest when we put it in wisdom will speak to us and will guide us and what is the ministry of the holy spirit to both reprove the world of sin, to guide you into all things that you, that are to be known, and to instruct you in the way that you shall go. It's talking Hallelujah. to you. He's talking to us yes. all, the all the time. Praise all be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now he goes on to say, to, now that's one aspect of life. This is something you may run into. But he goes on to, to go to another one. Lazy people, you sluggard, he says. Yes. Go to the ant. Go just look at the yes. ant, little ant. Yes. Oh, glory. It, 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 I mean, you know. And you know what else he did when he said that? You know, the yes. ant is, well, there's tinier even than ants, but the ant is pretty yes. tiny. In order, especially yes. me at this point in my life, for me to see an ant, I've got to get down low, don't I? I yeah. have to humble myself. And get down low Ooh. and look at that ant and desire yeah. to work as he does. My oh, Lord, man. he is he he way up is down. It's I, that's I, that's, it. I, it just always I always come into that understanding that if you want to yes. move up in the world, <laughs> yes. get as low as you can and love that's and right. love as many as you can. And Hallelujah. Oh, this is really, really wonderful. Tony writes again, Tony must study. Honey, you must be in science, Tony. Millipedes and ants can cross a highway oh, without oh, being killed by a vehicle. God covers them beyond human understanding. Oh, this is the all-knowing God we are serving. Oh, Isn't this the child? Let me tell God you. Bless mm. you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. You better know it. My Lord. God. My yes, Lord. Yes. You know, you know I, 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 I. Oh, sorry. No, sorry. No, no. Go and on. Then, Please go ahead. What would you say? All I did, I, I always refer with music and I was saying we sing this song as eyes upon the sky. But how much, yeah. more, how much more small and tiny is the ant and the and I think she mentioned the millipede and so yeah. his eye is on the sparrow you know we, but his eye is on the millipede and his ant <laughs> I'm just saying amen bless God I'm just saying too <laughs> he's an awesome God I'm telling you now listen you know what Amy I think we too when I when I come across uh, things like this in God's word and he just you know he just pops your head with the understanding, you know, in a moment in time. And I wonder how can anyone not believe in God? Amen. I'm telling you, Amen. it's in the small matters and it's Amen. in the big matters. He's in every aspect. And that's why I love Psalm 19. Remember I told you I used to uh, feel, uh, I would get not depressed, but I would have this, oh Lord, please just let the sun shine if it rained too much. Yes. Now, I'm a southerner, so the rain would come very quick and the sun wouldn't even stop shining. So mm. that's the kind of rain I was accustomed to when, you know, during the summer. Amen. But the, the, in winter months and in the north, okay, it gets so bleak and so dark. And I would say, <laughs> oh, Lord, I can't bear it anymore. I just, I, I can't take it. <laughs> Amen. I understand so, that the difference, the extreme difference in those two. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Oh, my goodness. And I just love sunlight. You know what I mean? But when I, when I started a podcasting, wow, what a show. Every day, the Lord had sent me to Psalm 19. The, the heavens declare the glory of God. Mm 
right? The uh, firmament shows his handiwork. Night unto night, day unto day utters speech, and night unto night shows knowledge. In them has he set the capital. So it goes on and on. It's just exalting yes. God in the day, yes. just the day. In the day. And so. I was saying this over and over, and then on on our uh, morning prayer, like I, I get on, and that's how I would start praying, right? And do you know that in an instant I realized that rainy days, hallelujah, glory, 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 glory to God, no longer bother me. I don't mourn in the rainy day nor the bleak, because every day, every day, no matter the the condition of the heavens, right? Yes. The glory of God is being declared because only he, you see, can bring the sun and only he can oh, bring the rain and oh, only he, he can cause the, the snow and only he can make oh, the storms, Lord. only God. And so oh, every Lord. day and then every night, even when the stars are not out and bright, mm -hmm. there is an overcast there that hides it from us and the moon's changing. God alone is the power that makes that possible. Yes. And it is all working like Tony says here. All of it is based on his foreknowledge and what he has seen. And he knows what is needed in a particular day or on a particular night. Miss Amy Kay, I have liked your spirit for the first time. <laughs> No. For the first time, he said. <laughs> he's loving it. <laughs> Thank Amen. you, Tony. That's so nasty. this sluggard that we are talking to, he's a, he's a sweetie pie. We're we're looking at the sluggard here, guys. So go to that and 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 uh, consider her ways and be wise. He says, the, and the ant the ant has no guile, overseer or ruler. The ant yeah. that colony provided Ooh. her meat in the summer and gathers her food in the harvest. How long will you sleep, O oh sluggard? Mm. When will you arise out of your sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come. Get up and be busy, guys. Come uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> come as one that uh, travel traveleth and mm -hmm. thy want as an armed man. In other words, it will come and snatch away everything. You will be in Amen. poverty Amen. of mind and heart and spirit. You'll be in poverty of those Amen. things that are necessary. And you know what? I always say God's word has to work anywhere, right? It can't just work for me Amen. in the United States <clears throat> where we are considered to, to, to be such a wealthy country. But let mm. me tell you, some of us who live here don't mm. feel that not, wealth. You not, understand? Not feeling that way. <laughs> Amen. For sure. For sure that is I'm so. telling you. So this works for us as well. Amen. We cannot afford to be sluggards, right? We cannot afford to slumber or to sleep and yet some people do and their poverty does come but we serve a god who's able to turn everything around oh, and to yes. deliver us yet yeah, talk about it oh amen. yes he is amen he Bless sure god. enough can do it mm, ain't yeah. it good so yes, now so he good. comes on down to the naughty person a wicked man walks with a forward mouth so now we've talked about being a, a surety for free you know standing mm -hmm. in for someone else and, and the falseness of your statements there. We talked about the lazy person or sluggards. You know, a sluggard is not just a lazy person. I think it's a person who's kind of given up on ever doing it for themselves, you know. Yeah. Um, and then we, we talked about um, now we are at the naughty, the wicked person. And and he, he winks with his eye. He speaks with his feet. He oh. teaches with his fingers. Mm. forwardness or perversity is in his heart he devises mischief continually he sows discord Woo. Mm -hmm. and there is a reward calamity will come suddenly now we we are experiencing in our nation and mm. even in our church mm. the Amen. yeah the very naughty person that person who speaks with his feet, he's going here and he's going there and he's destroying 
excuse me, reputations. He's sowing discord, saying things that would cause people to be in division and mm. at enmity with one another. Mm. This is the naughty person. Yes. He's speaking uh, things that are not true with his mouth. He's coming out with perversions. He mm. is preferring a perverse life over a life that is uh, true and, and, and righteous. This is the naughty person, but God says his calamity will come suddenly. May he be praised forever and ever. Because we are we are touched by these uh, awful things. Many people's reputations are tainted by the lies. People are influenced, but God sees and God will recompense. My Lord. He will. His leader is the evil one. Absolutely. Mm. Light Touch tells us. And Jesus Christ said, you are of your father, the devil. How about my, my. that? My, my. Glory to God. Yes. Well, you yes. are of your father, the devil. And so now that's the naughty person. This, and his I, calamity is sure. Amen. I And, and mm. absolutely. I just, the last part of that, that did catch my attention um, that last mm -hmm. bit of uh, verse 15, suddenly um, shall he be broken without remedy. That hit Hallelujah. me. Hallelujah. That hit me. Ooh. Because yeah. uh, that, that, so that isn't, that is, that lets us know how precisely um, how God feels when, when, yes. when we choose that path, you know, when we choose to, yes. to do that for whatever reason, um, we get in that. Uh, mindset and move in that way there's no remedy if you stay there if, if you right. come to a place you'll come to a point because god is still gracious he is always gracious and merciful so there is a there i, I just i've just got to say there is a well, a window uh, you know i you know mm -hmm. i'm always looking mm -hmm. for windows i guess lord he got one <laughs> on me in my windows but anyway i have to say this there's a window yes. but that window from the moment you start is beginning to close trust and believe and i'm uh, telling you what he's saying really when he said suddenly that last bit of that window that you're looking at Praise that's gonna shut fast that's gonna go fast because see i got seen him i see him at work a little bit when I was anyway yes. I made some steps yes. that he did at first you know he was taking it easy on me you know I thought I was actually but anyway <laughs> I'm moving forward but the point is at one point there when I hesitated yeah. I got lost up and caught up in it and I had to hit the, yeah. meet the hit the floor and get the consequence of, yeah. some of, the, of that amen. so anyway amen amen a, a it's word. real and it's true it's and listen and true. we we are we are the redeemed right and we're amen. what you're redeemed from okay we came out of this wickedness you know, we've come Thank out of some Jesus. stuff and we are grateful that God grateful. has seen fit to give us the window. Thank right. You. And even when it's right at the, you know, there may be uh, uh, just enough inches left for you to crawl through. My Lord. He, got, he, he opens it. He lets you in. Glory to yeah. God. He's Hallelujah. Good. I think of the parable of the workers and how he hired some in the morning and mm. then some at midday and then go some on, in the go evening. On. Child. Going I'm down. telling Wasn't you. Girl? Wasn't that window coming down? No. That's the day when the day was going down, right? Come on now. That's Ooh, right. That's sweet. That's sweet right and there. And then when there was a discussion, I tell you, <laughs> who, uh, how did they earn what we get? How, how are they going to do what we do? See the perverseness of the of the eye in the flesh. Mm. How are you going to give them the same that you gave us? And we worked all day. And the, the and the uh, ruler says, "Is it not my money? Hallelujah! It belongs Ooh. to me. I Ooh. do with it as I please. And therefore, I say God. they." will get the same price. Because you see, God is not being unfair. God is seeing into each person's life and situation. And he is uh, uh, rewarding them according to what he knows and sees. And his mercy, his mercy is in operation. May he be praised forever and ever. Tony gave us such a beautiful testimony. And I want Tony to be a guest on my oh, yes. podcast so yes. that we can really, really scratch through it. He gave us, you know, the, he scaled it over for us. He told us, oh, but then he said, but I have so much more that I am not sharing. See, this is the mighty power of God. And the part that he sh shared with us was, in, was sufficient to see Amen. that God sees and 
he know. Remember, his sister Aim, come on, you sang the song, uh, Jehovah. Uh, what was it? God sees and he knows. Uh, yes. Thou and I will put a ring of fire around, around you. you. Ooh, yes. That's yes. it. Yes. Yeah, Indeed. we're going to have to have Hallelujah. her sing it again. <laughs> oh, my. She's, she has a beautiful voice. <laughs> Yes, please do. Because <laughs> I really wanted to come song. forth. That is yes. the song. That he comes up on us before we, man, he comes up upon us before we do anything. Just just that we looked up, just that we realized that we need him. And he yeah. just swoops down upon us and lifts us up yes. and embraces us. That's that, That's why I love the prodigal son, the when he's coming home. A man that still touched, that moves me every time he's walking in his father, yeah. his father takes yeah. off running he sees him from afar Together. off come on mm. that that to me Dang that man. to me is precisely <laughs> what he does for all of us you know when we just look uh, up and, yeah. and and he knows like he knows that moment you know how you know your children you can almost know your children when they're about to cry i don't care how old they are you know right? right and That's so right. as soon as yes. they get that look as soon as their face starts to do that thing you run to them you know That's and that right. is that is god amen isn't it beautiful? Oh my goodness, yes. Uh, uh, Light Touch says, praise God for the window of opportunity to come to yourself. Mm. Repent, ask for forgiveness, mm. leave the grunge and the Ooh, mischief. We could What's stop that? and just worship right here. Thank Jesus. you, Lord. And he Thank said, you, and Lord. I'll open up a window. He says that That's about right. himself. He does have windows. He sure God does. windows, my Lord. <laughs> He's good. Amen. Amen. I receive Definitely. that. Definitely. And now, now he, he stamps this part of the wisdom to your life with this. He's telling us there are seven sins that uh, the Lord, he hates them. Remember, he he is wicked. He's angry with the wicked all day. Mm -hmm. So says the psalmist, right? Mm -hmm. He's always with the righteous, but he's angry with the wicked. These are the seven deadly sins. Uh, so, so you know, you've heard a lot about the seven deadly sins. Mm -hmm. Well, here it is. <laughs> here are. These are six things that the Lord hate. Yay. That's a, this is an emphatic statement. Yay. Seven are an abomination to him. A proud look, okay, M Mr. and Mrs. Fierté, as we say in Francais in French, the, 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 the pride, pride, <laughs> la fierté, yes. a pride, right? And how many yes. people come to Jesus and clean it all up and then they just continue to walk in pride? I mean, come on, mm -hmm. we are all cleaned up. So how are you over me in your stature? God has made it level. We were yes. all sinners. Oh. After the flesh, we were sinners. And yes. he has redeemed us from the curse. He has redeemed us he from the fear us. of death as we were held in captives by Satan. Hallelujah. He has redeemed us Hallelujah. back to himself. He finished Hallelujah. the ultimate work on the cross. He paid the price. He fulfilled the law. None of us yes. could have done it. May God be praised. Okay, so a proud look, a lying tongue, woo, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that run to mischief, a false witness when you're destroying somebody else's reputation that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among the brethren. See, this is what I say. Have, you know, be careful. Sometimes when you are uh, listening to people uh, talk about someone else and you know this is affecting you, you're saying, okay, is that person really like that? I mean, really, really, you mm. know, you are, mm. yeah. I say cool. be really careful, right? And then you go in and you'll say, oh, you know, he can't stand you. Mm. Have you ever been there? Has anyone yeah. ever come? And yeah. Oh, yeah, hallelujah. You can't say it. so. Discord, discord is coming. We are it. We are experiencing some of that right now. But yes, listen, uh, who is this? Tony says, talk about the story of the prodigal son. We have no idea what the father went through. That's right. Uh, when that boy left home, 
I am sure he went through trauma and sleepless nights. We normally do not put ourselves in the shoes of the father. Hallelujah, Tony. The fact that he ran ahead to get the boy means a lot to us, the believer. You are right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And when he got there, I think the Bible says that he he fell on his father. Woo! Yeah. That's yeah. the picture of Abba, Abba, him. Abba, Father. Him. We just fall on him My because God. now we are in the arms of the great protector. <laughs> now we are delivered from the poverty that we had experienced out there mm. when we made our choices mm. to go against him. Give me my inheritance now. Ooh. I want to spend it now. Mm. Every gift that God has deposited in us yes. is his. It's it his. is a part of our inheritance and we go out and spend it on the world. My Lord. That is so Until we are so limp with mm. the exhaustion and the fatigue of oh. trying, trying, and never making it. Yes. And then we run to the Father, Amen. and we are revived, and we are loved, yes. and we are covered. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to the Lamb. Thank you so much for um, uh, that. Mm. Thank you for that, Sister Phyllis, and thank you so much for um, mentioning the Father and what he is, and yes. because I tell you, I had not yes. ever heard that. I don't remember. Mm. If I if I heard it, I was not focused, but I'm mm. focused this mm. time, and I yeah. really, I really got a whole nother um, yes. part of God in his heart, because I do believe he paces around in heaven concerning us. I do. <laughs> Knowing what shall be and yet being so much more aware than we of yes. what belies us because of the choice we made. Um, you know, That's although right. he's able to he's able to do what make it all well, but nevertheless he knows That's there right. is a price that he doesn't he he has no desire to see us suffer or pay, you know. And it, it, it's, it's amazing. Tony is a teacher. God has anointed this young man. Yes. Um, uh, and, and But you know what? God has anointed every one of the readers and those who have come and give comments. I'm, I'm so blessed by it all. Those mm. That was Tony's um, uh, point was about wonderful. Father. I that and, was Tony. Thank you so yeah, much. it is Amen. Tony. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then uh, it reminds me. When uh, Sister me and Tony, you brought out this this uh, pain that the Father is is experiencing. Jesus Christ looked over Jerusalem and he wept. He said, "Jerusalem, Jerusalem, mm-hmm. if you had known, if you had just known the hour of your visitation, oh Jerusalem, how I would have gathered you like a hen." gathers her little chicks. That's what he's saying, right? And then Old Testament, we are hearing God talk continually to uh, Israel. Israel, Psalm 95, harden not your hearts as in the day of provocation. Come now, experience the love that I have for you. And he's in Isaiah, we're just reading it, right? All those words, I can't quote one right now, but he's warning them. That they have, that you have done wrong, you've been wrong, and I'm going to have to uh, chastise you. Yeah. But remember, a father chastises those that he loves, mm-hmm. and he scourges every son that he brings to himself, because mm-hmm. he can see and he does know that we are going to experience pain. And like you said, Aim, when we when he sees the face of our anguish, hallelujah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he does. He does. Mm. He responds hallelujah. to our pain and our cry. And would it not be Solomon who would then turn the discussion back to <laughs> the flattery of a woman mm. don't don't let the we, we, we're going to skip we started with binding the law to your heart but he comes on up and he says do not lust 
Well, we go back one back again. Keep your our eye from evil women, from flattery of the tongue of a strange woman. Do not lust after her beauty in your heart. Do not let her take you with her eyelids. For by means of a whorish woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread, just to nothing. Mm. And the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. Listen, so he's likening that adulterous woman, the fallen woman, to uh, the same thing as he likened the road to the hunter. Yeah. She's hunting. Now, Chosen was on the line, right? And I've talked with him several times. And he has been, you know, he, he knows a thing or two about a, 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 a woman who is out of her uh, relationship with, first of all, her God. And then mm. the, her value is also um, diminished. And she doesn't know it. And so Anna taught this with such gentleness. I loved it. I just appreciated um, how she pulled this together. So when men lust after the woman, or when women lust after men of the same uh, st uh, stature, uh, mm -hmm. of that same fallenness, either way, you are ensnared with that. And it comes mm -hmm. with a flattery. You know, uh, he, he's talking about her eyelids, the allurement. And remember also, to me, I still have not done the research. I must do it. The strange woman in Solomon's house was a woman outside of Israel. So they were unequally paired. And then there were too many of them, for goodness sake. Good Lord. Oh, he my. had so many. Yeah. I know. <laughs> and then now at the end of his life, he's realizing mm -hmm. these women built uh, their, their uh, stations of of idol worship. And so Israel was overrun with mm -hmm. idolatry because mm -hmm. they he, he brought these women in from everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I think that he is likening the strange woman really into the foreign woman mm -hmm. and the way that they had pronounced on him. Uh, he was a man of great wisdom and great wealth. Yes. And we know that there is a caliber of woman who will throw herself at such a man. Yes. She is in, she's flattered by, she wants him. He gets better looking the more money he has, you know? Yes. We know this. Yes. So, <laughs> so that warning <laughs> is there. And he goes on to say, if you do this, look, look, I'm going to, to give you also another um, way to look at this. Can a man take fire in his bosom? And his clothes be not burned. She's like fire in your bosom. Can um, can one go upon hot coals and his feet be not burned? Mm -hmm. She's like hot coals under his feet. Mm -hmm. So he that goes into his neighbor's wife, whoso toucheth her, shall not be innocent. Men do not despise a thief if he steal to satisfy his soul with his hunger. But if he be found, he shall Restore sevenfold, for he shall give all the substance of his house. But whoever commits adultery with a woman lacks understanding. He that um, d does such a thing destroys his own soul. Mm. And a wound and dishonor shall he get. Now, how about this, guys? The, here, the Lord is speaking to a man. But men in our societies don't think that they are held accountable for their whorish deeds. Mm -hmm. See, Solomon has been talking about the woman. He's been likening this whorishness to a strange woman. Mm -hmm. But here he is saying the man will be accountable to God. Mm -hmm. So men, you are not free. You are not free, not by any stretch of your or my imagination. And I want to bring it out because I tell you, men really don't think because in this society, you see, the, the woman gets the raw deal of being talked about Amen. and being uh, diminished in her value and being called names. Yes. But seldom do we hear that about men. No. 
-hmm. However, God sees and God knows, and you will be held accountable according to this word. Mm -hmm. You will get a wound in dishonor, and reproach shall not be wiped away. And if you do this with a man's wife, jealousy is the rage of the other man. Therefore, he will not spare you in the day of vengeance. He will not regard any ransom, neither will he rest content, though you may give him gifts. And I think he's speaking there again about God. So that you've been adulterous in your sinful ways against God. And the Lord sees, and he will repay us accordingly. Rich and beautiful. Now we go back, says, to aim to your initial bring. Keep thy father's commandment Amen. and do not forsake the law of thy mother. Bind them continually about thee. When you sleep, they will keep you. When you wake, they will talk with you. When you walk, it will inform your gate. You will be a man after God's own heart. Uh, or woman. It's a beautiful, oh my goodness, the Proverbs is just sweeter oh, than sweet. Absolutely. I know. Truly it's amazing. Truly, 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 truly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I welcome Bart into the studio and Crazy Kyle into the studio. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Welcome. welcome. All of you. Who's yes, so indeed. Come. Let him come in. <laughs> if she Please do. Come in. Amen. We we are we're so sorry that you came just at the end of our of our discussion of chapter six in the book of Proverbs. We are in a series titled apples of gold a proverb that we're going to run into um as we as we continue apples of gold words given to guide our lives precious precious than fine rubies so says the word eh? and pearls and precious there's nothing to compare with getting the wisdom of god into you and letting it inform you living by the words. And though Solomon wrote this to his son, remember chapter one tells us who wrote it, why he wrote it, and to whom he wrote it. But it is the inspired word of God, and therefore it is written to all redeemed people, all the believers. We take heed. And I'm going to tell you too, the Proverbs are quoted by people who don't know God, because mm -hmm. the, the the gifts and the callings of God are without repentance. He's not running around taking back what he gave anybody, whether they follow him or not. So if you mm -hmm. read the, the scripture, if you read the scriptures and you heed it, it's going to do for you what it does for me. It will bless you if you're in a righteous standing. You know, if you're doing it in an upright way, God's word is God's word and it's truth no matter who takes it. However, you can only take it to the degree that you are righteous before God. And therefore, we invite you to know him. We invite you to know him, to come into the beauty of God's redemption. And what does redemption mean? It means that we, when we're born, are born in, uh, in the nature of a sinful human being. We are fallen from a relationship with God, and we cannot restore that relationship until the fullness of the law has been uh, accounted for. And Jesus Christ did that. When God gave the law, he said, thou shalt not, thou shalt not, thou shalt not, etc." cetera. Mm -hmm. They're all nots pretty much, right? And mm -hmm. folks don't like it because you tell them you're limiting me, but all he's doing, he gives you how many limitations? There were only 10 of them, right? How many mm -hmm. commandments were? Oh, yeah. Okay. And, um, uh, out of out of all that he has given, you cannot refrain from doing ten little things. Where big, they're big things. They're big things that make your life terrible. <laughs> and then, uh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. but anyway, uh, please, please know that here you are encountering the majesty of God, and we exalt Him because we know what He has done. But we don't exclude the desire, sharing our desire for everyone to know him. And all you have to do is send a message and we are there to 
uh, assist in any way. Sister Amy, you know how much I love you. I so appreciate oh, you coming. Oh, it's so mutual. And I love you dearly, Sister Liz. I'm just so glad you're here and read with us this morning. And look how you started us off with those uh, verses. And we go back. This is what the verses that we started with are warning us against. And um, it's just beautifully done. Yes. Love you, love you, love, love you. The glory, love you, and yes. I love everyone who came on and, and praying that you continue to visit because this proverb is, boy, it's good eating. And um, yes. what I mean is it's the bread of life, and it's good to come and break it together. The more, the merrier. Thank you so very Amen. much. God bless. Welcome to Auntie C. I'm missing... Uh, some entrances here. Tony says it's a blessing. Come here to come here every day, Miss Amy K. Miss Amy K. Thanks, and you are all wonderful people. The host, Mummy Aria, Miss Light Touch, Miss Reams, and others. You're right. We we have been um, in fellowship with some great folks who come in the studio. Some I know, many I have not known, and Tony has been consistent becoming uh, for some weeks now. We appreciate your fellowship with us. It means a lot to me, Tony, yes, and like yes. touch. And Sister Amy and Sister Reams, who I'm missing this morning, and mm-hmm. all of you who have decided to come in and, and listen uh, as we read through the book of Proverbs. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. God. He was his ways are perfect. His ways are life. Amen. Thank you, Light Touch, for yes. that marvelous word. Yeah, it's good. I love your excitement, Sister Amy Kay. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and she always praise God for the window of opportunity to come to yourself, repent, forget, forgive, and oh, yeah, from the yeah, grudge yeah, and yeah. the mischief of it. Yeah, Glory. that's that's Light Touch. You guys can sit on this side and and uh, please, you know, I invite you to, to just come in and chat. We're in we are in fellowship. It's not about one me taking the lead. It's just about me providing the platform. I love the Lord. I love you, Father. I love you. Psalm one sixteen says, "I love the Lord because He hath heard my voice and my supplication." Because he hath inclined his ear unto me. Therefore will I call upon him as long as I live. I was simple. I was low. And he helped me. He lifted me up. Hallelujah. Praise him. Glory. Glory. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, the day is going to come when we shall all, hopefully in this life, sit at the same table. I envision that. And uh, God is leading me, uh, leading us uh, to a fellowship. And I I believe he's going to do some things that I never, ever thought of before. Never thought of before. But now they're entering in my heart and my mind. And so we pray this morning, Father, that you bless all of yes. those who have come to Lord share, God. Lord God, in Lord this God. fellowship, at the, at sit at this table and eat from your very prepared oh, table Lord. of the Proverbs. Father, we have received really rich food here. And we ask you to not allow the enemy Father, to Mm. steal it away and not allow, Lord God, the thorns and thistles of our innermost being to choke it out. Not allow any of that to happen, Father, but that you, God, you go ahead and just, you you know, when you work that soil, you work us, God, work us so Mm. that these plants Mm. will grow and that we, Lord, will be more like Jesus Christ. We will truly be your children, your ambassadors in this world where chaos reigns, where war reigns, Lord, and where there is this despondency and hopelessness, where there is great need, Father, spiritual dearth. God, may we exalt you. You have been lifted up, and we just continue to remind the world that you did it. And we exalt your name and thank you for you give good and perfect gifts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
bestow on those who've come into this audience, Lord God, everything that they need, everything that they desire with reference to them knowing you and living a life that is abundant with peace and and uh, sufficiency in every area. Bless them in relationship as well. I praise you for it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hmm. Oh, there's so many. Glory to the Most High. Oh, mommy, please send you those words to the uh, your email yesterday. Yes, Tony, thank you. I, I know. I, I think I saw it. We have lots of newcomers. I see Sabash. Beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. The trumpet. Uh, these are great oh, titles, gosh. by the way. <laughs> Boss chick. That's cute. Amen. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. So let me give the schedule. <laughs> We read from the book of Proverbs every morning through the month of July at nine o'clock. And then we come again uh, in the evening, most evenings at 830. Uh, We are trying to read twice a day because we know that around the world we're in different time zones and we want to be um, available in in this, you know, to cover as many of those zones as we can in two broadcasts. We might add a third at some point in our lives. Uh, But here we are, and you are here, and we are so grateful. So twice daily. Now, today is a a, a unique day for the evening because we are running also a series with Pastor John Thomas. And it is really based on Proverbs, but it's really an applied Christian living is like I like to call it. But it's um, it's titled in all that getting, get understanding, Proverbs uh, 4. Verse seven, and all that getting, get understanding. And Pastor Thomas is a fire with God's word. Amen. He's passionate. And so we can just, again, he teaches, but we chat and ask questions. And he just, you know, I love him. It's it's a fun time. That's at eight o'clock on, on Wednesdays. And I thought I would, I think I'm going to read on Wednesday night at, uh, I can read at six. Right? Yeah. Oh, or seven. Yeah. Right? Because we don't have the prayer line. That's Our church true. usually prays. Yeah, but yeah. through July. So I think I will, I, I, everybody join me, uh, you know, tonight on Wednesdays at six. I'm going to get it right one day. Uh, I'm ne- I'm always behind my own self, right? But six, seven o'clock. Um, let me see. Will it be six or will it be six o'clock? Let's read it. Six or shall we? Oh, mommy, please. I sent you. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, I read that for talk. Glory to God. So I think, let's see, we shall read at six. And that way we'll have plenty of time. And then if you come back at eight, you can hear Pastor John Thomas. So also we are Rehoboth Institute of the Arts and we have an episode list. So we will upload these eventually. They're not, I'm not doing it right away because it's a lot of work and sometimes we need some editing done on them. But the, we're going to upload all of these um, these uh, sessions so that you can hear them again if you came in late or if you missed them. So with that, um, I just am so grateful that you've come. We've prayed. We've had a good word. Sister yes, Amy has blessed amen. us. With her. <laughs> and we are ready now to depart. And I bid you a wonderful day wherever you are in the world, if it's morning, if it's mid, you know, noon, or if it's night, may our God bless you in it. May your sleep be sweet, like the word says, and may your day be, you, you're talking with wisdom, right, all day. So then you're going to have a good one, right? right. <laughs> and your feet. So now, you know, we carefully choose our music. Hold on, I'm going to get it in a little, uh, there we go. There we go. I love the music because it makes me feel, well, I don't like the word feeling necessarily, but it makes me want to dance, you know. Amen. It's very, yes. very upbeat. <laughs> and after a good, good session with the Lord, what you want to do? You just want to dance and praise Celebrate. and shout and say, Amen. God, that's right. Thank I'm you, Father. You, it's, Thank no, you. it's nobody like and nobody greater. It's that's in the right. presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. Ha. Hallelujah. Glory. 
That's it. Thank you, Sister Ames. I knew that was a scripture that did, uh, kind of explained what I feel when it's all done or what I'm experiencing. May God bless you. Thank you so much for every comment that was shared. Thank you very much. You informed our understanding of God's word even bigger, better, more. Thank you a thousand times. And may you be blessed all this day. Hope to see you again real soon. Remember, Tonight at 6, tomorrow, though, 9 a.m., and there, every other night, it's at 8.30. We meet at 8.30, except Wednesday nights, we will meet at 6. Thank you, Lord. I think I finally got it right. And then there's another one. Oh, and Sunday mornings, we shall meet at 8, not 9, 8, because in my uh, time zone, I have to be in church at 9, so it gives me an hour. But with that, guys, love you very much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Lord loves you better than me. So see you now.